Naute, Gaiga Bruno, Iwan Williams, Kaminede, Subodreth, Cheo, Akevid, Radwainiz, Iwan Yachis, Achen Bill and Wes, and Henry, Akevid Oadran, a commission is Obobol Heen and Henry. Iwan Williams, Communities, Local Government and Wellbeing Lead, Older People's Commissioner for Wales, and now he has worked for the WLGA at their European office in Brussels, and his talk will be Aging. Well, well, is what in him and well. Iwan, cross your head. You come around. What a day to get. Good morning to you all. Uh, my name is uh, Iwan Williams, and I'm the Communities Local Government Wellbeing Lead uh, for the Older People's Commissioner for Wales. Now, uh, from the outset, I'd like to uh, sincerely apologise if I nod off at any point. It's been a very early start this morning following developments in another Celtic nation. I'm sure some of you have been following developments as well. I'm here today with my colleague Alison there at the back there, and uh, thank you so much for allowing me to come along to events uh, here today at the National Botanic Garden of Wales, uh, and for the opportunity to tell you all about the role and work of the Commissioner. Uh, I'm a Croeso. Uh, I'd also like to uh, talk with you about our new Aging Well in Wales programme, formally launched next month. Now, as reflected in a four-year framework for action, the Commissioner's work is driven by what matters most to older people, so it's important that your voice is heard. As part of our engagement roadshow, the Commissioner regularly travels the length and breadth of Wales, and I'm sure that many of you have already met the Commissioner to express your views, or will do so in the near future. Now, who is the Older People's Commissioner for Wales? Well, for those of you who don't know, it's Sarah Rokira, and Sarah has been in the role now for just over two years. Her job is to stand up and speak out about the issues that matter most to you and to make sure that these issues are the ones that, that are on the desks of the decision makers here in Wales. She has a range of legal powers and duties which she uses to protect people and to drive forward change. But most importantly, she is your independent voice and champion. So who are older people then? Older people are of course people and using language that sets people apart is not always helpful. There are many other words that we can use instead of older people, like family member, neighbour, friend. We must think about people rather than use generic terms because public service should always be personal. There are lots of other terms we can use also. How about activist? Many of the rights we enjoy today were hard fought by people such as yourselves. And the Commissioner has fought hard to protect and extend your rights. For instance, we have worked with the Welsh Government to implement a Declaration of the Rights for Older People, which was published in July of this year. Now, this is to ensure that the bodies who provide services are clear of the rights that older people have and know what is expected of them. But sadly, one word we should use sometimes is victim. People tell us about some of the appalling treatment they or their loved ones have received, examples which would shame us as a nation. The Commissioner has supported older people and their families and loved ones through her dedicated inquiries and support team, who have found themselves in the most distressing of circumstances. We are pushing for stronger laws to protect older people from abuse, including making sure older people are included in the Domestic Violence Bill, currently making its way through the Welsh Government. However, whatever name we use, older people are not a group apart, and we should never think of older people as a single group. We are a nation of older people here in Wales. It is normal to be older. It's something that we do every day. Yet we still talk about how we are going to cope with an ageing population. We should instead be proud and celebrate the fact that we are a nation of older people. But older people are often referred to as a burden. Terrible language is used. Things like time bomb and silver tsunami. How dare we speak about older people like this? And in fact, the Royal Voluntary Service has calculated that older people contribute £3 million every day to the Welsh economy through services such as volunteering and childcare. That is a total of over £1 billion every year. So you are our biggest asset and we want public services to find a way to learn from your wealth of knowledge and experience. Yet despite being our biggest asset, you tell us that many of the services you need most to continue volunteering and caring and remain independent are currently under threat. 
You also told us how much community services, things like public transport, public toilets, libraries, community spaces and adult education matter to you. You told us that if we lose these services, we will undermine the very fabric of our society and we agree with this. We published a report in February showing the importance and impact of community services. And we were delighted shortly afterwards that the Welsh Government announced it was proposing to place a duty on local authorities to improve access to public toilets in the new Public Health Bill. In July, we published guidance to local authorities on their duties in law relating to public service changes, as well as a practical toolkit for older people that provides useful information on how to engage with your local council when they are proposing to make changes to services. The Commissioner will soon publish a follow-on report highlighting best practice in Wales in using creativity and innovation in delivering community and public services for the benefit of older people in this e era of austerity and belt tightening. People also told us that they were waiting a long time for simple home ad adaptations like handrails. People were at risk of falling and losing their independence for far longer than they should have been. Around one in five people who have a hip fracture die within a year of their injury, and only one in four people totally recover. Hip fractures can result in depression, a loss of independence, and reduced quality of life, a massive cost, I'm sure you'd agree. We wrote to local authorities who are failing to meet their targets, telling them that we expected this to change. And all but three local authorities are now meeting their targets, and we are continuing to hold them to account on this issue. Our review, called Dignified Care, into whether older people were treated with dignity and respect in hospitals, found that the treatment of some older people in hospital was shamefully inadequate. Our report included a number of recommendations that are having an impact, but the Commission has been very clear with the NHS that they must have zero tolerance for failures to care and respond far better to patient experiences, not just complaints. The Commissioner's annual report, called Impact and Reach, was launched in June and gives more information about what we have achieved in the past year. Um, and uh, looking ahead, we have a dedicated inquiries and support team that provide information and advice as well as helping people who have gone through the complaint system and feel that their voice has not been heard or the issue has not been resolved. People also contact us who are vulnerable, for instance family members who think their loved ones are being abused. And we can offer specialist support in these situations. We can also signpost to other organisations if they are best placed to help. So please, if you ever need, help, but ever need help but don't know where to go, please do contact us. Looking ahead, I'll, I'll briefly uh, outline what we will be doing over the coming months. You have probably noticed that I haven't mentioned residential care yet. And this is because we're currently undertaking a legal review into the quality of life and care of older people in care homes across Wales. We have heard from over 2,000 care home residents, their families and friends, and visited 100 care homes unannounced, so we now have a huge body of evidence. And in November, we will be publishing a report about what it's really like to live in a care home today and what changes we can expect to see. The Commissioner wants to ensure that people have a good life when they live in a residential setting. We have seen examples of great care, so we know that we can get it right. Our review will aim to improve the lives of people in care homes, a place people should just be able to call home. We will also be challenging some myths about older people, for instance that all older people are frail and dependent. I have already spoken about the fact that you contribute over a billion pounds to the Welsh economy every year, and that is after the costs of health and social care are taken out. People also claim that older people have never had it so good, yet one in six pensioners live in poverty. These myths must be challenged as they demean and result in discrimination against older people. We want to work with you to challenge this and other discrimination that you may face. and We will be pushing for better protection and access to justice for older people. We will work with the Welsh Government to improve the law and the Crown Prosecution Service to ensure that more cases end up in the courts. It is simply unacceptable that older people can suffer abuse and the law does not step in to protect them. We will be shining a light on the lives of carers and people living with dementia. 
Some of the most moving experiences Sarah hears about are from people who are living with dementia. Their struggles are often too hard. We will be undertaking a legal review in this area to make sure that people get more support as this would make such a difference when people are going through such difficult times. Our overall message to public service providers is that you fail to listen, respect and deliver for older people at your peril. The Commission has promised to be your independent voice and champion. Many of the issues she faces are 30 years in the making. They cannot necessarily be fixed in one four-year term of office. However, she is totally committed to continuing to fight in your corner and to ensure that Wales is a good place to grow older, not just for some, but for everyone. Often an hour, Roy Cronode Bichi or Raglen Heneidio Da and Humbri. Demar Raglen Bartneriath can lethal, a good day, Rir can a commission it. He was a face pobble, just Hanna can't with odd, Simbu and Humbri. Trouble Heneidio and Kavluino Rai Herriai, Nidus Ride Lesked at the Beneath Arai, Galli Gweld Velran and Ochello Heneidio. A with the Raglen Kis a sicker eye would gan void a pobble heen, Gwerth a still a footpass. I will pobol heen a medi per high in aid of pethai, seem boy sick events. My Haglen canus a study young, a cumbri will about near Obart Nariad, Gaganus sword at Cumbri, our horse out of the door the hail. So would lud a Haglen and radio, he gave wind, get a vluidin a repair, a giver Henezio Guisredol and Duvila Daveg. I can my heaven and fervor ran or Bartnerith a loisel a repair, our Henezio Yach a Guisredol. A llynedd cyn y byddwyd y rhaglen fel rhanbarth ar Verdân Ewrop gan dderbyn status um, safle cyfeirnod tri, um, tri seren gan y Comisiwn Ewropiaidd. Fe fydd y rhaglen yn parhau i ddefnyddio eu chysylltiadau gyda'r Undeb Ewropiaidd i weithio gyda ffartneriaid Ewropiaidd eraill er mwyn cyfnewid syniadau ac arferion da a chanfod mynediad i gronfeydd Ewrop er mwyn cyfnogi rhaglen. Fe fydd y rhaglen yn cael ei lansio'n swyddogol fis nesaf ar yr ail yr hygen o hydref gan Brywenido Cymru yn y Senedd. Yn ystod y lansiad fe gyhoeddi'r cynllun y rhaglen sydd yn amlinellu yr hyn a fydd heneiddio'n dda yng Nghymru yn ei gyflawni dros y pumlynydd nesaf. Fe fydd ystod eang o barneriad y mynychu lansiad gan gynwys prif swyddogion o'r Comisiwn Ewropiaidd. A fe fydd y lansiad hefyd yn dystu'r ceremony arwyddo ar gyfer datganiad dilyn sef fe mrwymiad gan bob awdudol lleol yng Nghymru i sefydlu cymunedau sy'n gyfeillgar i oed. Yn, yn dilyn sefydliad y Comisiynydd Pobl Hun, strategaeth Llywodraeth Cymru ar gyfer Pobl Hun, ar datganiad o hawliau, a sefydliad cydgysylltwyr gysyl strategaeth, pencampwyr Pobl Hun, a ffordd yma i'r pobl dros hanecant megis i rai chi ym Mansi'r Gar. Dyma gyflawniad arall i Gymru ac y siampl arall o'r modd y mae partneriad yn cydweithio i sefydlu Cymru fel cenedl sy'n gyfeillgar i oed. Mae'r rhaglen yn cynnwys pump thema flaenoriaeth. Cymunedau sy'n gyfeillgar i oed, cymunedau sy'n cyfnogi'r rheini sy'n byw gyda dementia, atal cwympiadau, cyfleoedd ar gyfer dysgu a chyflogaeth ac enigrwydd ac ylltydiaeth. Dros y mysydd nesaf diwethaf, rydym wedi gweithio gyda'n partneriaid er mwyn cytuno ar amcan holl gynhwysfawr a thri chynlyniad ar gyfer bob un o'r themau. Amcanion a chynlyniadau a ddol sy'n gyfrannu at heneiddio'n dda yng Nghymru ar agenda lles dros y blynyddoedd nesaf. Arweinir y rhaglen gan grŵp gweithredu strategol ac arweinir y pump thema gan grŵp ymgynghori arbenigol gan gynnwys arbenigwyr yn ei meisydd a chadeirydd gyda gwybodaeth arbenigol yn y materion hynny. Ar y lefel leol ac yn holl bwysig i gyflawniad y canlyniadau, y mae rhwydweithiau thematig. Mae rhwydweithiau yn cynnwys ystod o unigolion a chynrychoelwyr sector gohoeddus, a fydd yn gweithio ar y canlyniadau a, a, a hyrwyddo'r rhaglen yn ei pentrefi, trefi a dinasoedd lleol. Fe fydd pob un o rhwydwaith yn rhoi pwyslais cryf ar ymchwil ar loesedd a chredig rwydd. Trwy ddeblygiad y strategaeth ymchwil integredig cyntaf ar gyfer heneiddio'n dda yng Nghymru gan y rhwydwaith ymchwil a dadblygu ar, ar, ar bobl hun a heneiddio uh, Open Cymru mewn geir eraill. Fe fydd y rhaglen yn ceisio troi ymchwil yn arfer gan sicrhau fod y canlyniadau yn seiliedig ar dystoliaeth ac wedi profi effeithiau ar fywyd y pobl hun yng Nghymru mewn ffordd bositif. Yn rhedeg trwy'r rhaglen fe fydd pwyslais ar atal 
integreiddio a chanlyniadau ar gyfer yr unigolyn i chi. Mae nifer o themau traw stori hefyd, sef anffafreth ar sail oed a lle hair stigma sydd yng Nghrwm ag, ag heneiddio. Ymgysylltu gyda phobl hun a chenedlaeth eraill a grymuso pobl hun. Felly, sydd ydych chi'n ffitio fewn i'r, i'r rhaglen heneiddio dda yng Nghymru? Wel, gall unigolion o unrhyw ffórwm gymryd rhan yn y rhwydweithiau thematig, felly mae yn y gyfleoedd i chi gymryd rhan os oes gennych ddiddordeb penodol yn y themau. Fe fydd y cydgysylltu o'r strategaeth yn darparu ddolen rhyngddochu a gwaith y rhaglen, gyda o leiaf un cydgysylltwr ar gyfer bob un o'r themau. Dros yr ythnosau diwethaf, rydym wedi gweithio gyda Kevin Pett, eich cydgysylltwr yma yn Sir Gar, i ddeblygu arolwg yn siliedig ar flaenoriaeth y rhaglen. Mae eich sylwadau a chadborth chi yn bwysig iawn i ni, a rydym yn ddiolchgar iawn am y diddoldeb ar fenter a welwyd yn Sir Gar i gefnogi'r rhaglen o'r cychwyn. Yn Sir Gar a Gweddill Cymru, mae yna eisos fentre a chynlluniau'r ddechog sydd yn trafod pump thema um, heneiddio dda yng Nghymru. Fe fydd y cynllun rhaglen i'w lawnsio mis nesaf, a'r cynllun gweithredu dilynol yw lawnsio y frwydd y nesaf yn ychwanegu gwerth at, uh, at y rhaglen a dyblygu mentrau a'r cynlluniau yma yn ymhellach. Drwy gydweithredu clos ac ym, ymagwedd integredig, fe fydd y rhaglen yn tynnu sylw at arferion da ar loesrol ac yn edrych, edrych at ddyblygu hyn ar draws Cymru er bydd pobl hun. Mae'r cymysiynydd yn awyddus iawn i'ch cael yn rhan o'r rhaglen o'r cychwyn a gyda'n gilydd gallwn helpu sicrhau fod Cymru ymlaf dda hi heneiddio ynddi i bawb. Diolch yfawr iawn i chi am rando. Thank you very much for listening.